Okay, so you need to build an end-to-end -end solution in Microsoft Fabric, and you want to just kind of keep it simple, but you don't want to overcomplicate your world down the road. You want to do it right, in other words, right? Well, today, I'm going to show you how to do that and get started on the right footing so that you can ensure you'll be successful. My name is Chris Wagner. Uh, this is Kratos BI. This is the home of the data god. So, you know, we turn you into a data god. Make sure you hit like, subscribe, all that good YouTuber stuff. Uh, let's get into it. All right, so first things first, inside of Power BI or inside of Fabric, you're gonna go in and you're gonna create a fresh workspace to get started on. Now I've called this uh, workspace end to end. Um, you could call it whatever uh, environment that you're gonna be working and operating in, call it that, okay? A few things of note, all right? So if we look at workspace settings, we're gonna see the type of workspace this is needs to be, have a fabric capacity that's assigned to it, okay? Now, come on, you see it's not as fast as they show in all the other videos all the time, sometimes it's faster, all right? So you can see there's all sorts of information we can put into it. Um, we want to make sure that we have our, where is it? Okay, so it's a fabric capacity, it's on my Eagle capacity, and I've got sm small storage formats put in place, right? So you can see this stuff, it's all set up, we're good to go, okay? You can also tell that I have this right just by looking at uh, uh, looking at the name of the workspace, you see this diamond right by it? That means it's backed by a premium capacity or a fabric capacity that, that you can work from, okay? So when we get this in, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk through how we build this out so that's just simple for you to get in and, and, and work with, okay? So I, I wanna keep this very, very, very simple or as simple as I possibly can. So I'm, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna add a task. I'm gonna say it's a get data. Now, this get data task uh, is gonna be all about uh, get data from source. All right? So I'm gonna edit the name and I'm gonna change the name to, to be inclusive of what it is I'm doing with this task flow, okay? So this item is, we're gonna be going out and getting data, all right? The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in uh, now recommended items, all items. We're gonna add in uh, a data source that's gonna go, oops, actually not create items, my bad. Add a store data item. And this is gonna be we're gonna edit this one and it's gonna be my land data. In other words, this is where I'm going to just bring my data in in a raw format, okay? So these are the two big components I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get data from the source, I'm gonna land it into the environment as it is. I'm not gonna apply any transformations onto it, okay? So I'm gonna set these two pieces up and th that's how I'm gonna design my flow. So bring it in land the data raw. Well, the next thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna actually do some transformations onto that data. I mean, maybe the data is is right, maybe the data is wrong, you know, uh, but I'm gonna design it so that I've got a place where I specifically do my transforms, right? So I'm gonna call this one my transform data, right? So instead of get data, just transform. All right, transform data. All right, save that. Now, next thing I wanna do, cause I don't wanna just like transform and not do anything with it, is I wanna actually store that transform data again. All right, now this, because I wanna keep everything as simple as possible, this is gonna be the last place I'm actually like storing data, all right? Uh, and in fact, let me just zoom. This little button here, just FYI, you saw I was like running into like sizing constraints. This button will zoom to fit however big or small uh, your tasks are. So in this case, I've got my store data. So I'm gonna say, I'm, gonna, I'm actually just gonna call this my data mart, okay? Now, this does not mean this is gonna be, actually be like old Power BI data marts that are out there. This is just gonna be uh, something that, that inside of like the entire like schema of like, 
how people think of data. There's big data warehouses where your enterprise manages data. And then there's data marts where like individual teams or people uh, manage the data in their environment. So we're just gonna call this one my data mart, okay? The next thing I'm gonna put on top of this is I'm gonna add in, and it's just called a general item, but I'm gonna put it over there. And this is where I'm gonna put my semantic model, okay? What is a semantic model, you may ask? Oh, come on now. Semantic model, semantic model. This is where, like if you're a Power BI person, this is your tabular model, okay? So this is where you bring all your tables, your joins, your DAX statements. You bring that all together and you present that at the semantic model layer, okay? And then the next piece, we don't just have like a semantic model, but we're gonna add in the visualization of our data, okay? And that's gonna come at the end of this. And this is gonna be my reports, okay? All right, now this is my end-to-end -end design of how I'm gonna build and load all of my data inside of my environment, all right? Now, this is the process flow that I'm gonna be using. I want you to keep this in mind as we go through the builds in the next videos as to like what we're doing in each of these steps, because in some of these videos, we might go from one step to another. We might uh, jump way ahead, but uh, we're gonna be following this common pattern in all of our downloads, in our simplified downloads processes inside of our fabric space to make it just easy to use, all right? Now, if you found this helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below, share it with your friends. If you got questions about how this is gonna actually come together, like leave me a message down below. I'm, I can't wait to show you the, the next phase of this build because uh, I'm actually recording them one after another. So like, that's the next video. So keep them broken up. Um, but in the next video, we're gonna be doing how to use a SQL Server on-prem. So do all these steps and add in all these components, okay? So excited to show it to you guys. You have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.